okay good morning class welcome to introduction to audit and investigation now under this course uh, uh, students are expected to understand uh, to know the following at the end of this class first is meaning of audit objectives of an audit merits of auditing and the merit of auditing and uh, now we are going to start with audits first is uh, what is an audit this audit is the process of of uh, examining a set of books records some uh, documents with the intention of uh, establishing uh, its reliability this means uh, audit is nothing but uh, just to confirm to examine to check the records you have against uh, the uh, with the intention of uh, confirming those records you have they are reliable someone can rely on the records you have uh, how can you do that you can do that by checking the source documents before you record those transactions you must have a source document you must have your basis of uh, posting those transactions so the audit is just to examine uh, those books and ensure that they are reliable and, uh, uh, audit can also be defined is as uh, the independence uh, examination and investigation of uh, of the evidence from which financial statement has been prepared with a view to enabling the independent examiner to report whether in his opinion and according to the best of the information and explanation obtained by him the statement is properly draw up and gives a true and fair view of what is in that statement yeah that is before uh, it's an independent person that has to carry an audit we are going to look at the different types of audits but uh, audit is expected to be carried out uh, by an independent uh, body so that they will express their own opinion concerning that uh, uh, financial statement that is uh, the meaning of an um, audit then we have our uh, objectives objectives of an audit objectives of an audit why do we conduct audits why audit one we conduct audit in order to check the accuracy of uh, the data the records you say to check the accuracy to confirm the accuracy of the uh, data then number two have a uh, it uh, promotes uh, operating efficiency say efficiency audit or pro, uh, promote uh, operating efficiency because uh, with the help of audit uh, uh, they, uh, they will make sure that uh, what they are recording they must have basis they will ensure that they follow the company policy that is another you know, objective of carrying out audit the number three is 
and it ensures all necessary corrections are done. Corrections. The another objectives of uh, carrying out our uh, audit is to ensure that all the mistakes the auditors now observe in the process they are corrected. Not like you carry out audit, you observe uh, some mistakes, errors. What is the way forward? That is audit. Then you now correct all those mistakes uh, to prevent uh, future occurrence of uh, those uh, errors or mistakes. Then another one is uh, this audit it now safeguard the company asset against fraud uh, fraud so this audit in order you carry out audit why to protect the asset of that company if not there will be a lot of uh, fraud stealing embezzlement and the rest and nobody will know what is going on there but with the help of audit you can easily dictate that and uh, protect the properties of uh, the company and then number five you have to ensure all acquisitions are properly authorized it's authorization authorization before you post anything or you uh, acquire any property whatever it is you have to follow the due process the company policy what did the company policy say about this this person has to sign all the approvals must be obtained before you now uh, go ahead and uh, procure any property or whatever you want to buy you have to obtain the approvals that is uh, that then we are going to look at uh, merit of uh, an audit merits of auditing these are the advantages of auditing one audit helps to reduce the risk of fraud and poor accounting risks of fraud and poor accounting this means is that situation whereby you carried out audit so all the risks what are the risks fraud stealing embezzlements this audit will now minimize all this and in a situation whereby there is poor accounting records the audit will also show that there is poor accounting record and they will now minimize that as i mentioned as part of uh, uh, the objectives of audit is why to correct mistakes errors so this also helps to uh, correct the poor accounting record of uh, of an entity for instance in a situation whereby you have an asset but you recorded that asset as expense is now going to an income statement instead of going to your uh, financial position so you see uh, this entry is wrong but with the help of audits you can quickly dictate this and correct it that is uh, one of the advantages of uh, audit then number two the uh, it facilitates the provision of advice that can ha have real financial benefit for the business financial advice financial advice so uh, because after carrying out audit what will happen now is the auditors will now express their professional opinion and uh, they will point out the risks and the financial implications of uh, 
financial implication of those transactions or financial implication of that risk maybe saying like uh, what i just explained that uh, you recorded asset in uh, income statement what does that mean there is financial implication it means you are overstating your expenses and understating your assets so that will now reduce the profit of that company at that particular period so the auditors will now express this and it's left to the management to take decision about that that is uh, another uh, advantage number three is uh, it helps to reveal the weakness of the system the weakness audit will now reveal the weakness of a particular system or weakness of internal control in a particular uh, uh, organization all this this is what audits will now reveal for instance now the weakness is that the internal control is weak someone can use that to do what to commit crime audit will reveal all this this is another advantage of uh, uh, audits number four and uh, the is uh, just uh, this audit is serve as uh, a check against making mistakes uh, errors and fraud checking check against mistakes errors and errors that is just it is just to check against all mistakes is there any mistake error whatever it is that is uh, that then uh, we can now look at uh, the merits of auditing whatever has advantage must also have a uh, uh, disadvantage one these audits they are less concerned with the management policies less concerned with management policy this means that uh, auditors they are less, less concerned with the management policy that is the policies that all the employees are expected to follow for instance now let's say company now said uh, okay motor vehicle the a usable life of uh, a motor vehicle is five years and uh, another company can say is three years six years so auditors has no issue with that policy or whatever they call it they have less concern with it what they will now do is to confirm that okay this company now say the uh, useful life of motor vehicle is three years is that what they have in their asset register that is what you just check not like no you are not supposed to use three years you are supposed to use five years this and that no just check have they comply with the management policy that is just it then uh, number two is uh, it is uh, not the responsibility of auditor to make recommendation as auditors cannot uh, uh, like now it is not the responsibility of auditor to make recommendation okay like i just explained earlier that uh, 
using the motor using motor vehicle as our case study uh, when management said okay this motor vehicle we are going to use it for five years and you as an auditor now say no don't use it at as five years use it as 10 years no it is not your responsibility to make recommendations they have already made up their policy they have it there in the policy as five years so just go with that you have no business with telling them to change it to 10 years three years once they now they they have their reasons for making it five years or three years or six years whatever it is then now we have number three Number three is uh, the absence of honesty and independence render an audit useless. The absence of honesty and independence. Absence of uh, honesty and independence render what audit useless. So, in a situation whereby, as an auditor, you have no say, you are only controlled by the management. This is what we want you to do. This is what you are to check. You cannot check this, which means you don't have independence. You cannot decide on your own. This is what I want to check. These are the things I want to pick as my sample. So, which means that your opinion is useless. Then, if that auditor too is not honest, or the management, whatever whatever the case may be, that uh, opinion is useless. Number four, have num number four is uh, the auditing fails to present fear view due to the bias of an auditor is say bias when there is bias when auditor is bias then uh, that auditing will not present the fair view of that financial statements that is what uh, this is saying so this is uh, all what we have to cover in this uh, video and uh, we are going to continue in the subsequent video thank you